Do you remember growing up here in Oklahoma and thinking earthquakes were only something that happened on the west coast of the country? My, how times have changed. There was another round of earthquakes yesterday. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Just yesterday, February 13th, 2016, we had several earthquakes shake the north-central part of our state. The one near Fairview, Oklahoma, was powerful enough it was registered clear over in Missouri. And you know what? I swear I felt it here in Elk City, in the western half of the state. I could be wrong. But yesterday, my house creaked a bit. Yeah, I know, I know, minor thing. But this was the same kind of noise the house makes when a large gust of wind hits it. Now, I didn't feel any shaking, or actually hear any wind for that matter, so I had to get up and check. Sudden gusts of winds happens quite a bit here in western Oklahoma, but I didn't even find evidence that the wind was blowing very hard at all. Now, that said, I can't say I know what it's like to have been in an earthquake, but I definitely have friends and family that can. From Enid to Oklahoma City, I've had them tell me about the shaking they've experienced. And all through the Oklahoma news media, you can hear and read about reports about uh, cracks appearing in walls, stuff falling off shelves, nerves being rattled, and the outright fear of a larger earthquake knocking over someone's house. Luckily, knock on wood, that has not happened. Oklahoma had over 850 magnitude 3 or larger earthquakes last year, making it one of the most seismically active states in the nation. Yesterday's Fairview earthquake registered at 5.1, one of the more larger earthquakes we've ever recorded here in Oklahoma since we've been recording earthquakes. <laughs> um, the common belief and what studies have proven so far as to why Oklahoma started to have so many earthquakes has to do with many of the disposal or injection wells in the area. One of the byproducts of drilling for oil and gas is the need to dispose of large quantities of contaminated water. This water contains chemicals used in the drilling process as well as whatever it picks up in the act of drilling. Now the drilling companies will truck this water to one of the many disposal wells all over the state. Um, and those disposal wells will pump or inject the water deep into the ground, well below the water table. Well, this water and pressure has somehow affected the surrounding geology and many of the faults in the region began to react, thus the earthquakes. Now that is a vast oversimplification. If you're interested in knowing more about this, and I suggest you read up on it, I have some links to some great articles about it in the show notes. Now the state of Oklahoma, the uh, government of Oklahoma, was very slow to react. And now the state agencies have slowly started to get those disposal wells in the area where the earthquakes are happening to shut down. Now, unfortunately, it might be years before you know if that's even effective. And there's no telling how long it's going to take for the region to reach some sort of balance again. The one thing we can do as citizens of Oklahoma is to be earthquake aware and ready just like we have to be for tornadoes and bad storms. It's best to be prepared. If you haven't yet, put together an emergency kit, or as I like to call it, our bug out bag. <laughs> A few change of clothes, medication, batteries, charging cables for your phones, don't forget those, food, and anything else you can think of. You can find many suggestions on how to put together an emergency kit online. Another thing that you should do is verify your homeowner's insurance and find out what it covers. Your policy might not cover man-made earthquakes. I mean, they're going to find that loophole and stick you with it. So please review your insurance policy and talk with your insurance agent. Oklahoma will likely have more earthquakes in the years to come. So please be ready and be safe. 
Last episode, I did a short list of magazines I found on my coffee table. It was something not to be taken seriously, and it was just a little fun thing to do. But it went over so well, I think it's going to be a regular segment. So from now on, I'm going to do a top five list on various things. Some serious, some not. So here we go. The top five YouTube channels I watch this week. Number five, Red Letter Media. Number four, Simon and Martina. Number three, Emergency Awesome. Number two, Chris Stuckman. And the number one YouTube channel I watch this week, Smarter Every Day. You can find links to these in the show notes. Oh, I have one more thing to add to today's topic. Not long ago, I set up a subreddit just about Oklahoma earthquakes. It gets the latest 2.5 or greater magnitude earthquakes automatically posted to it so you can track what's happening in our state. So please subscribe to the subreddit, OK Earthquakes. Just a reminder, the Oklahoma presidential preferential primary is Tuesday, March 1st. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is by 5 p.m. on February 24th. So please mark your calendars with big bold letters and set a reminder on your phone to get out there and vote. You can get more information at ok.gov slash elections. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you do. You listen to this podcast. In case you don't, hey! You, we got our own cafe press store. There you can get a, a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a tote bag, and some other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So just head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. And new this week to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist, some bonus bonus music. I got a little click happy and added six new songs, so please check them out. You can listen to it at uh, YouTube and Spotify. I have shortcuts at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of February 14th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 898 registered Oklahoma bloggers. <laughs> your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. Music